What's up, comic book addicts? Welcome back to another epic comic book haul. It's episode number 180. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's get it started with the Suicide Squad AMC exclusive edition when the Suicide 2 movie came out. Um, I didn't see my local AMC. Maybe they just ran out. So this is definitely an exclusive one. Astonishing X-Men. Uh, number 51. This is the first uh, a gay marriage between two men. All right. Oh, by the way, I got those for uh, 25 cents. Here's Firestorm, Fury of Firestorm, number 24. This features the first appearance of Blue Devil and Bug. Spider-Man versus Wolverine. I think I paid a half off cover for this from Half Price Book. Uh, when this first came out, this was a hot item. It's still retaining its value. It's definitely a good to have. It might be the first battle between Spider-Man and Wolverine. Don't quote me on that though. Savage Dragon. So this one, uh, half of cover. This is the, uh, there are fewer than 3,971 copies of this. So definitely uh, low print, hard to find, you know. Savage Dragon around 200, just remember that. Justice League America number 26. Uh, this is the first full appearance of Jakeem Thunder. We have Magic the Gathering, Shadow Mage, first Magic the Gathering comic book. Um, so that one I paid, uh, I think, 50 cents. Oh, uh, look at this. Witches, issue number one, first print. Supposed to be an upcoming movie or something. Definitely kind of reminds you of uh, Blair Witch, you know. You can see the silhouette right there. Awesome painting, awesome artwork. Next up, we have Tokyo Ghost. Number one, isn't the best condition because it got some spinal tick marks. Um, but it's supposed to be an upcoming um, show too, a live animation adaptation maybe, something like that. We have Battle Chasers, number one, Cliffhanger Comics. First appearance of Red Monica. Red Monica is this busty babe right there. Oh, look at this. DC Universe logo, you know you got to have it. Not only that, because this is the first appearance of uh, Impulse. You can see Impulse right there. So that was a DC Universe you know, exclusive. I think DC Universe means second printing. And that is number 93, where Impulse fights uh, Flash. I know this one's heating up, Spider-Man India. Um, definitely grab these. It's the first appearance of Pavitcher Brahakan Brahapkar. So hard to pronounce. Spider-Man of India. He is rumored to appear in the Spider-Verse 2 animation movie. I've been wanting this for quite a while. I'm glad I finally found it. Wolverine number 88 featuring the first battle between. As you can see, that's Wolverine. You can't really tell who that is. It's in a typical Deadpool uh, costume. But this is early Deadpool appearance. So they weren't sure how to draw him, I guess. Yes, that's Deadpool killing Wolverine. Can Wolverine even be killed? Put, put in the comic section. Champions number one, first appearance of Team Champion with all these uh, youngins, Vision and all that stuff. You know, Miss Marvel. Nightwing number four, featuring the first appearance of Lady Vic Assassin. We have A next. Number seven, first cameo of Hope Pym, uh, Henry Pym's daughter. And this is question number one, the premiere issue of The Question. We don't know that much. I don't know that much about him. I think it was a female version too. I'm guessing he has no powers. I, I'm not sure, man. I don't know that much about The Question. Next up, we have Morlocks number one, featuring the first appearance of Angel Dust and Shatter. Just like it appeared in the comic, I mean the movie. I think it was the first Deadpool movie. Didn't Deadpool fight Angel Dust, I think. So we have Worlds of Aspen. This is free comic book day. This features the first preview of Lady Mechanica. Everybody's looking for the first appearance of Lady Mechanica, so why not look for the preview, especially I won't pay 50 cents for this. I think it's 50 cents. Nomad, number one. So this is where, when Ricky Barnes discovers Nomad costume. And issue number two is when he first becomes a Nomad. Just keep that in mind. And of course, we all know the beautiful McFarlane, Todd McFarlane art. Gotta collect them all. Beautiful. And I've been looking for this quite a while. 
Doom Patrol number 35, I heard the show is pretty good. I just watched a few episodes and I was pretty intrigued by it, but I just stopped watching it. First appearance of Danny the Street. First cameo of Flex Mantello. And the first team appearance of the fake men from nowhere. I'm guessing those are the fake men from nowhere. Really freaky um, style of art during that period of Doom Patrol. Five Ronin Punisher. Gotta love these uh, a Ronin uh Exclusive uh, covers. And this is the Craven's Hunt Part 3. I don't know who that character Vermin, maybe? I'm not sure. The Avengers number 293. This is the first appearance of a whole bunch of um, Kang characters, Chairman Kang, including one of them. Now, I was happy to find these Scooby Doo team up. So, this is where, you know, the um, DCU and uh, Scooby-Doo characters teamed up. I love that cover, by the way. You got Batman and Robin teaming up with Scooby-Doo. And as it turned out, this is the one to find because uh, you have uh, Scarecrow in there. So that one is definitely uh, the valuable one. And I didn't even know Batman has a dog. Perhaps that's the first appearance too. And here we have number nine. This time Superman teaming up with Scooby-Doo and team. So this one will pay you half of the covers so or $2. X-Men Origin of Deadpool. Um, talks about the origin of Deadpool and the beautiful artwork by the way. You don't see this sitting around in the wild too often. Speaking of you don't see that too often. I like the cover. Now if you look carefully, we have the mini Silver Sable. And this is, happens to be the very last issue, hard to find, low print run of Scarce's final issue of Silver Sable. Couldn't believe my eyes when I just saw this sitting out in a while. Not only one, but two. Very full, first full appearance of Onslaught. We gotta see Onslaught in the upcoming MCU, man. I'll be excited. Here is Doctor Strange, uh, one to look after because you have Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel playing. Ah, I couldn't believe it when uh, this was sitting out there. It's dollar. It's not in the best condition, but this is an old comic, guys. I'm guessing this is 1970s, maybe early 70s. It kind of looks like that. Look at the cover price. 50 yeah, definitely early 70s, perhaps even late 60s. Actually, I'm kind of in intrigued. So let me open this up. And just for you guys, I got to be careful. Even though it's not in the greatest condition. What do you guys guess? Probably 1968. How about I quote that? 1970. 1970, see? So that's from Adventures Comic number 400. Featuring the debut of Supergirl's new costume. Right there. Finally have in my collection, especially with when that Vision uh, and Scarlet Witch movie came out. I mean, the show came out. I wanted this so bad, and now I finally have it. First appearance of Virginia, Viv, and Vin Vision. Yes. The Walking Dead. We have some uh, early Walking Dead issues. Look at this. Number 20 is where when um, Alan gets bitten by a zombie. The low print run of 21. Especially in the 20s of The Walking Dead. And I paid, uh, what, what did I pay for these? Um, half off the cover, right. 26. These are some beauties right here. 28. Good number. 29. Oh, what's this? Why is this um, in a top loader? It's gotta be valuable, right? Finally have in my collection. Alright, now we're gonna have price books. Let's go ahead and look for this. Thor comics. Oh. There's some walking dead. Let's see what these are all about. Early issues of walking dead. Oh, 
snap. First appearance of the governor. Look at this. Cover price, too. Spectacular. baby i couldn't believe it i paid dollar 50 for that number 27 what can i be think about it who is the villain in the early walking dead shows like first like the second season or something like that second or third season i don't remember it's been such a long time it seems like yes it is the very first appearance of governor i've been waiting waiting i finally have my collection wow and now we have black panther number three featuring the death of tachaka T'Challa's uh, father. All right, now we're gonna get to some Star Wars goodies. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Squadron in the Empire Service number 21. This is the first appearance of Baron Sontir Fell. He is a deadly Empire uh, pilot. Next up, we have Star Wars Shattered Empire number one, featuring all these uh, characters on here. It's the first appearance of Kesh Shemaran and Shana Bay. So, Shara Bay. He, she looks familiar, right? Yes, it is. The first appearance of Kylo Ren, Ray, Finn, J Javard Hux, General Hux, and Captain Phasma. So, a whole bunch of characters. This is the one to definitely be on the lookout for, even though it was $5 cover price, which I pay half of. Sometimes things to have price books. Star Wars Dr. Aphra, number one, the premiere issue, I think, featuring the first cameo of a Corrin Aphra. And here's Dr. Aphra, number three. Uh, first appearance of Magna Tovlin. All right. Some Darth Vader goodness. Wow, that's a beautiful cover. First cameo of Kirok Intilla. I think it's a Jedi. Here is number three. First four appearance of Master Kirok in Intilla. Was it Infilla? <laughs> I can't read my own writing. But these are the two to be on lookout for. Here we have Star Wars Darth Vader number two. First pair, first mention of Dr. Aphra. Okay, so this is simply a first mention. Darth Vader number four. Second appearance of Dr. Aphra. First full appearance and death of Silo 4, which is a, a droid. And we have number five. You got three color lightsaber going on. This is the first appearance of Aiden Astarte. Carbon and Tulan Void Geyser and Moret. Wow, these Star Wars names are hard to read for real. <laughs> okay, now we have another goodie, another top loader. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? I don't know. You guys ready? What does that look like? Sorry, I'm back at half price, folks. All right, got a stack of key issues right here. Some Star Wars. Oh, that take that. that. Oh snap! First appearance, Doctor Affer. Look at this. Have a price. Have a hint? Why well, finally, I never thought I would find this sitting out in the wild considering paying half off the cover price. This is the very first printing. First appearance of Dr. Afra, triple zero and BT1. Finally have in my collection. Pay close attention because first printing is this color, all right? And the other printings are like red and other colors. So happy. But we're not going to stop there, guys, because the last one to show you guys is another top loader. You guys ready for this? You guys are not going to recognize this, I guarantee you. No? No? So for the G's. 
Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the good Kickstarter exclusive. No? No clue? Okay, it's the goon, but is it number one? What is it? This is the Ultra Hard to Find, super exclusive, the goon, Kickstarter exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies. I wasn't even going to check on this. That's why you, whenever you guys go out hunting, start your stack, you know, do your research. Had I not done any research, I would have not bought this. Wow. This was like, this is like upwards of $300. And when that movie drops too, it's going to go through the roof. Hope you guys enjoy this haul. I'm very happy to have these in my collection. Finally, it's going to go in my MVP collection. I'm going to protect it well. As always, happy collecting.